The gospel that we hear on this Thursday of the first week of Advent contains a challenge for all those of us who are Christians who think we know what we're doing. It's a quite a thorough and profound challenge because Jesus reminds us that it's not just about saying that we're Christians. We actually have to prove it. We have to walk the walk, not just talk the talk. And for some of us, that can be a challenge because being Christian can be a simple thing about saying our prayers, going to Mass on Sunday, and being in right relationship with our God because we have accessed the Sacrament of Reconciliation on a regular basis. But that's not enough. If we take seriously what Jesus says in the Gospel today, we also need to be about the work of the kingdom, the kingdom that we are anticipating during this season of Advent. We have to be out there doing things. It's not just about what we do, of course, uh, but it's how we do it. We do it because of who we are and who we believe in. The one who has gifted us with all these gifts that we have in order to be about the work of the kingdom. But we actually have to work. We can't simply relax and say, I believe, therefore I will be saved. It's, I believe, I will be saved, but I also have to go out and do something to make the kingdom a reality in this time and in this place. During this Advent season, as we continue to meander across the seasons, uh, season in anticipation of the coming of the kingdom, Let's remember that what we are about is not just belief, but belief that inspires us to action. In this day and age, it's something that we are all called to remember rather than shrink away from in the face of animosity or uh, enmity that we might experience from contemporary society. We have to be about the work of the kingdom that we are awaiting until the Lord comes again and brings it to fulfillment. And so let us pray. Stir up your power, O Lord, and come to our help with mighty strength, that what our sins impede, the grace of your mercy may hasten. Amen.